You know those fancy logo tees that we've been seeing for years, and now you might want to put one in your line? You might want to hold off on that for a minute. This video is made possible by Brand Crowd. So you're starting a t-shirt business and you're super excited to get started. So you go get some blanks, you think of a name for your t-shirt business, you get on your computer and you start thinking about a logo. One way or another, you get that logo made. So then you start thinking to yourself, so what kind of t-shirts am I gonna put out? Ah, I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put out some t-shirts with my logo. Why not? Everybody does it. Polo does it. Gucci does it. Tommy Hilfiger does it. Balenciaga does it. Everybody's doing it, right? Ah, uh, wrong. If this is your first time watching, I'm Gary, and this is T-Shirt Help Desk. T-Shirt Help Desk. All right, so you started a t-shirt business, you have a logo that you love, and you want to put it on a t-shirt, right? That might be a big mistake. Why? Because nobody knows who you are yet. When you see those big companies, right, and they have the t-shirts with their name on it, you have to realize something. They put a lot of time, effort, and money into making that brand, all right? Advertising, billboards, celebrity endorsements, commercial. They built a lot of equity into that brand. Think about it like buying a house, right? When you first buy a house, you put a little down payment on it, right? And you don't really have a lot in it. As time goes on, right? Years go by, you build equity, right? You can pull some of that money out. You can borrow against it. You can maybe pull something out and go buy another house because you have equity in that home. The same thing goes with a brand. People are really not going to take you seriously until they know who you are. You are not Polo. You're not Gucci. You're not these big brands. People don't know you yet. Build some equity in that brand before you go just throwing your logo on something. So guys, don't get all bent out of shape. You can use your logo. So for newer brands, let me show you some things that you can do. All right, so let's get into some brands, right? This brand is called Rich and Rugged. All right, let's go back to the top. Um, and you're going to notice something. They have their tees here and their tees, you know, this is kind of about, you know, trapping and stuff like that. But if you go down, you're going to see there's nothing that actually says Rich and Rugged. They just make tees that appeal to their uh, core target audience and what their brand is about. Now, on the other side of things, here is a surf brand, right? You can see they have some clothing. And then look right here. Your first one is like a skeleton on the surfboard. And they also have a, a logo, like, you know, their logo tee, right? But check this out. You know, if you go down, they have tees that appeal to the surfing community and what the surf guys are all about, right? Check, check out this tee. It's a, like a submarine surfing. So this appeals to that surfer, that core target audience. Let's get into the next one. This brand is called Mafioso, right? So they, it's Halloween is approaching us. So they have some Halloween collection of all, you know, the movie bad guys. Guys, right but I want you to check out that this is like Marilyn Monroe nun with a gun right and it's all about like the bad guys gangsters you know look at this with the guns right and you know you see a, that little mafioso in the corner down there but if you go back if we go back and you look there's like virtually no tees that are logo tees they make like these badass tees that appeal to their core target audience okay not logo tees right that's gonna come but for right now they don't do that they just make really cool designs right look at this this is like michael myers with the tattoos really cool let's go to the next one this is sullen okay this brand right they have halloween stuff here but this brand is based on tattoo art all right i believe the a founder is a tattoo artist and he created this brand. And if you look, everything has to do with a lot of skulls, a lot of classic tattoo art, big back classic tattoo art. Now, they do have some logo tees on this brand and they have their logo and their name ablaze 
on all of the graphics, but the graphics are about tattoo stuff, right? See, see the big um, sullen right there, right? Now, it's not just that. Most of these things are tattoo graphics with the name in it. They're not just a big old logo T, right? That's how I say do it. Do graphics that go back to your core target audience. Put your logo and your name in those graphics, right? And as time goes on and you build the equity, then you can do the logo tees, especially for you guys who are just starting out. Now, speaking of logos, everybody needs one. And I'm going to show you how you can get one for dirt cheap. So, guys, I want to take this time to tell you about Brand Crowd. Have you ever thought to yourself, man, I need a logo, but I really don't want to spend a whole lot of money. Enter Brand Crowd. You just go to brandcrowd.com, enter the name of your company, add some keywords of what your company is about, and press enter. They have so many different logos and company genres. You can also do business cards, Facebook and YouTube banners, IG posts and stories, and so much more. There's going to be a link down in the description box. And if you use the code T shirt help, you're going to get $15 off your logo. And T-Shirt Help Desk viewers get 60% off a premium logo pack. How you like them apples? So check them out. Brand crowd, everybody. So guys, you can use your logo and you can have a logo T here or there in the beginning. But the bulk of your brand should be T-shirts that go back and speak to your core target audience. All right. So I want you guys to check out this video on is a logo ever worth $18,000. I think you're really going to enjoy it. Get out there, do some logo tees. I'm going to put some butt on my shoes and slide on out the door. But I'm going to catch you soon and God bless. T shirt help, Brusque. It's the thing about celebrity, celebrity closing, celebrity, celebrity closing. Guys, here's the thing about celebrity. Can, can I not talk now? Can I not talk?